Hello and welcome gaming fans, this is Bobby with Day After Day Gaming, here to bring a stream of a game we haven't played on live yet. It is a game called Star Crawlers. It is a dungeon crawler, <clears throat> first person style dungeon crawler, with a party and an adventure. So it'll be similar to the Bard's Tale that we have streamed before. The, uh, what was the other one we streamed? Legend of Grimrock 2, similar to that style. So let's go ahead and do a new game and jump right in. So I've seen a lot of fantasy dungeon crawler style games. Uh, they have them on other systems like the DS's had the wonderful Etrian Odyssey series. They made like four to five of those, I want to say. This one's going to be a little bit different because it's sci-fi. So we'll have more sci-fi monster styles, uh, robots, you know, weaponry, things like that. So let's check it out. This is Luna. And this is, I think, the place we're dungeon crawling in. And let's see what happens. All right, so this is a very important part of the game. <coughs> we get to pick what kind of character you start with. As you can see, there are seven different classes. We have a Cyber Ninja, and they have both male and female versions. You can also give them a name. This one is Melee Weapon Pistol Rifle. Light Tactical, Light Tactical Heavy, whatever those all are. You can also look at the abilities so you know what you're buying for each character. So that was Cyber Ninja, this is the Engineer. Then the Force Psyker, Baracus, that's funny. Then we have a Hacker. Hey Trix, how's it going? Smuggler, Soldier, and the Void Psyker. Alright, just for fun, I think we're going to try a Void Psyker this time. There are also different difficulties you can have. Story, which is the easiest mode. Relax and enjoy the story. Reduce enemy strength and mission dam danger. You get no modifications to anything. This is a standard gameplay. You do have challenge, as well as hardcore. And there's also iron mode. Uh, I don't know what that is. Limit of one iron mode save that auto updates. Death is permanent, gear is lost forever. Auto save updates when a character dies, and not for the pain of heart. So we're gonna play on standard, just to kind of show everybody how it works. So we get to create a little bit of a backstory. You get to pick one of three different options. We either can get street code, formal education, or fringe culture. Let's do fringe culture for fun. Which is cursed child. We're cursed! All right, let's see, we got a rogue psyker. Minus 30 rep with chimera, plus 5% damage. We gain 10% accuracy or get nobody. Let's go with Chimera Test Up. Let's get some extra accuracy. Then our final one here, we can get 100 credits, 5% crit and 5% damage, but we lose health, or we get a rare accessory. Let's get a rare accessory. That sounds good. All right, these are the three we picked. And here we are in... The world of star crawlers so you have these little doors that kind of show you what you can highlight different areas to go into not a lot's open right at the beginning we also have some ability points so why don't we go ahead and see what we can get we have a manipulator this one deals 50 percent weapon damage if the target has shields they drain two to three i'm guessing shield and gain five void energy okay 
Evoker, we have a Shadow Bolt. That sounds fun. Blast the target with Shadow to deal 50% weapon damage and gain 10 energy. If you have more than 30 Void Energy, you get 100% weapon damage and gain 10 energy. Okay. Oh, we also have Summons. Alright, so I don't know exactly what I want to get yet. So I think just to try out some of the skills, we're going to get Evoker and Summoner. You know what, we'll go ahead and get Manipulator 2, that way we get something in each tree. Just to kind of get an idea of how it works. And they want us to go on to the saloon, so let's go on to the saloon. A haggard looking bartender is working the bar. His mech arm continuing to wipe down the pitted counter as he sizes you up. Evening! Haven't seen you here before, so welcome to Station Terminus 9, Jewel of the Sector. Locals call her Sticks for short. What's your poison? So, because we have fringe culture, we get a special uh, option we can click on that gives us different story based on being a fringe culture member. So, we're going to do that just for fun. It says, The shadows gather. I must enter the maelstrom. You will aid on this dire path. I have sensed it. He frowns, Doc Sam. Gods, another barmy psyker. That makes three this cycle. We take all sorts here, but mind you keep the babbling and manifesting to a minimum, eh? Yeah. Folks get antsy when you start sprouting tendrils. Taking a long drag from his cigar, Doc stirs it evenly. Trouble is, I'm not hiring janitors at the moment. Okay, so let's keep trucking along here. I'm not going to read all the story just because it'll take a long time to actually get started in the game, but at least to give you an idea of what's going on. I'll leave it up briefly. <laughs> I like this one. Wait, is this some kind of tutorial? Are you tutorialing me? Let's see that one. So, <clears throat> essentially we are going into the dungeon to collect items for this guy. What a surprise. So we're going to get this quest. It is to go into Stick's Basement Level 4 and look for a replacement part to fix his wire terminal. Yay! We'll get 10 reward and 40 XP. 10 credits. Alright, so here's the movement. We'll explain all this. You have W A S D keys to move and turn, strafe with Q and D, activate the flashlight with F, and you can customize the hotkeys in the escape menu under options controls. There is a camera option for eye tracking. So if you have eye tracking cameras, you can look around and adjust it in the options menu. I don't think I have that option turned on. It does kind of work. Although my room's kind of dark right now, so it's not really tracking my head very well. So I think we're going to turn that off. But it does have Toby eye tracking in case anybody wants to try it out and see how it works. I'm just going to use the mouse for now. You can also see we have a map in the top left corner of the screen. 
that's kind of showing you where to you can go. All right, we need to find an obvious switch in the room somewhere. Oh, we got an item too. A lunchbox. box! You could auction this item at the black market. Valuables can be found exploring. Okay. Is that the switch? That's the obvious switch. <laughs> I still feel like there's something back here. Oh well. As the door grinds open, a small hooded figure darts through and past you towards the exit door. It pauses and cautiously turns to study you. It appears to be a small child, probably a station urchin. Underneath the tatters of a filthy cloak, you see the glint of something shiny. Oh, let's do the Void Psyker option. Frighten the child with nightmarish visions of the Void. Just because we can. Well, apparently the urchin was a Psyker and got nothing for it. Lame. Okay, so we have three different options here. We can use our manipulator void psyker that menins menins the door with the power of the void. I wonder if that's supposed to be menace. I don't know. I don't know what menace is. Evoke a Void Psyker. We can blast the door with the power of the void. Or summon a Void Psyker. We can blast the door with the power of the void. We'll do that one. Why not? Oh, we did, Jack. Let's check in. So this is the hacking part of the game. You get a login and you try to hack the nodes to unlock or get special items. So we're going to go ahead and loot the data store. So what happens is you get things here that you can play while you're hacking. So what we do is we click here. Nope, oh, wrong one. Sorry. Click there on the network core level one. Here's how you do hacking combat with the enemy. We click and hold on an enemy to see the program wheel. Release over a program to run it. Sudzy is a corruption type enemy and will take bonus damage from your security programs. So we hold the mouse button over there and we do a jolt. Sudzy has damaged the core of your deck with an attack on your hardening points. If the HP of your deck is reduced to zero, your deck will crash out of the network and you'll be unable to hack until your deck is repaired. Yay, we continue to jolt until we win! So exciting. Alright, we're going to try to take down the laser beams. And manually crash the server core. Oh no! We're crashed the system! Here's our enemy. Here's combat. So the turn order of combat shown up in the top left. We get to click on the ability wheel over the target and figure out which attack we want to do. And abilities have different time unit costs to activate. 
So fast abilities cost fewer time units. Slow abilities cost more, of course, but hit harder. So right now we could do a strike if we wanted to. That is 13 to 15 damage. We could do this one, which is three attacks of four, I believe. So that's gonna be 12 damage roughly. This will be six to eight. Or six to eight. They were just a regular strike, that makes much sense. Strike! Alright, we just got hit with a status effect. So we got a status effect of sparkles. Thoroughly scrubbed by Sudzy. Yay. I feel so clean now. Yay, we win. So we have an item there. I'm not sure how to like get in there. Is there a search button or something? Let's look. I don't know. Guess we'll just leave. I hit no by accident. Oopsie! Yeah, we failed to locate a secret sash. I feel like it was behind that panel, but I wasn't sure how to open it. But that's okay. We'll make sure we try to get it next time. Alright, let's go here and turn in the quest. Alright, we have one more here. Employer Tyree Hobbs. It's an investigation. Easy citizen level one. Let's go ahead and knock it out. You could use some more stuff. Okay, so we're going to get 100 credits to locate and return the medical supplies. Sure, why not? We'll say it's re reasonable for now. Oh no, we have tiny robot to attack. Oh! P? I like that, it's called P. That's pretty funny.
All right, robot down. Victory! Let's get down here and see what there is. Some credits. Cool, got a med kit. That should be useful. Interesting ship so far. Okay, P. Ooh, I almost missed a credit stick on the chair. But we got it. Of the little tiny robot. He really misses a lot. It's very interesting.
Not a lot in here, really. So I got a couple more doors to go down. Oh, uh, no little tiny robot to fight? <laughs> Disappointed. We need to find that code. It's probably somewhere in this room, or the next room. Let's go look. That's not the right way. That's okay, we're not gonna worry about it. Open says me. Boss fight. Uh oh. Oh no, we took some damage.
Oh no, a little bit more damage. So sad. We got a prototype Tekai! Oh, we got a chest here to open? I already opened it in. I think we're actually done here now. Yeah, let's get a killer robot on the team. That sounds like fun. Killer robot! Yeah, now a bunch more stuff is open now. See, I can click on more stuff. That one suggested level three. Probably shouldn't do that one. That's a cakewalk. All right, so some of these quests have choices. If you do one, you lose rep with the other group, so you have to keep that in mind. I mean, I don't know what all the differences are. I haven't played enough to tell you, but definitely just keep in mind that if you want to go one route, make sure to go for all of those routes. Might as well work on Chimera, we already started them a little bit, we already have 5 points, so let's go ahead and do this quest. Can we open up any lockers? Oh yeah, the blue ones. Nice. Probably should look at some of the stuff we've been picking up, too.
wonder if I can put on these other armors. Not that I want to necessarily right now for this one, but it is kind of nice that it looks like you might be able to wear other people's armors. Actually, I guess I was not wearing any armor, was I? So I guess if I put it on, we would lose one damage block, but we would gain some dodge, some maneuver from tactical armor, and damage caused from light armor. Yeah, I mean, we don't really need it, necessarily, so maybe we'll leave it off. Nah, that accessory still better. I think I'm okay without changing anything right now. Seems like we're doing okay, so. A turret! We gotta drain some shields, so those blue items are shields. It has a few shields on it, so we need to take those all out before we can actually hurt it. Our shield should be on. It actually has heavy armor on these things, so it only ta it reduces all damage we do it by seven, which sucks because my strongest attack's like 15, so I'm only doing seven damage each turn roughly. Ugh, so take a while to die. That attack's not even hurting it. I think we're just going to keep using our big attack against it. But you know what? I leveled the two. I totally forgot to go and spend points. Not dead yet. Crap. Thought it was dead. So close. All right. Let's see what we got down here. I see a cred stick. Looks like a door. And another door. Guess we're going this way. Oh, we found some bug zings. Not a robot for a change.
I got chowder with slime, that's no fun. Man, we missed! Sucks. Nice, we got to level, uh, three. Let's see what abilities we can get. We got two ability points, so... Uh, we had to get three points in something first. I forgot about that. Well, we got it now. For manipulator. Okay. Oh man, big robot! Combat drone, and I totally forgot to heal. Crap. You know, I didn't like to put on the med pack, so I'm probably gonna die. Yep, I died. So when your party is lost, you actually die and get kicked out of the game. So, I can continue from my last save point, I think it takes me back to before I start that dungeon. But I think I'm actually getting a little tired tonight. So probably just gonna quit, didn't stream for that long, less than an hour tonight, but at least gotta show off a little bit of a new game called Starcrawlers that I didn't play much of yet. So it's kinda like a, a first person roguelike dungeon crawl. I think you basically keep going until you can't go any further, or until you decide to quit. And there are different classes, you know, maybe try each class a little bit, see which one you like. I'm not sure I like this class that much. Maybe the uh, attacks later on will be better, but didn't seem quite as interesting as some of the other ones. But again, I wasn't using the Void Energy yet, and probably didn't quite do everything as I was supposed to. So I'll probably try it some more later, but I think for tonight that we are done. Thanks everyone for watching. Uh, this is Bobby with Day After Day Gaming, and just remember, keep on gaming day after day like we're trying to do. Uh, we are going to keep on streaming, hopefully, every night this month, or every day this month. That's at least the plan. I hope I'm going to stream for longer tonight, but unfortunately, just getting a little bit too tired to continue. But uh, thanks, everyone, for stopping by. For anybody who's watching, or anybody who's watching this after the fact, we'll get this up on YouTube in the next day or two. So stay tuned. Thanks. Have a great night.